Good morning all, camelbacktrading.org. Coming to you this Friday morning, March 3rd. We are looking at Window Traders' market profile of the ES and SPY. Remember, non-farm payroll is next Friday since um, February uh, was is a short month, so the data isn't uh, enough. So non-farm payroll comes out a week from today. So we said last night's video, the most positive response to yesterday's price spike above D was obviously there's three levels to gap higher, which we've done nothing but gap this year, to open above the base of the price probe, which is L's high, and certainly you want to open up above the base of the price spike, which is where D took place. Well, right now we spent the overnight and pre-market trading between the, we had a triple distribution, don't forget, in the S and SPY. They've traded between the upper distribution, which is M, the middle distribution here, and they've also taken out yesterday's high. So very positive response so far by the buyers as they're holding on up here. NQ and um, Righty only had a double distribution. Uh, NQ's been in their upper distribution all day between the price probe and again above yesterday's high. And as far as Righty, same thing. So the bulls right now are continuing to push what they started in I period yesterday in all three of our time frames. Um, as far as a game plan for this morning, again, the only short I would even consider early would be against to possibly front run the overnight high, depending on where it is. Now, again, there's 75 minutes to go, so we're not sure where it's going to be. However, however, if in the next 75 minutes you're to open, say, below M's low and take back the set of single prints, well, then you could certainly look for a short against where the price probe was to see if there were buyers there or they no longer there, and then certainly against the day's high and use that as you're out. Those are the only shorts I would look for early, and I'd keep a short leash on them. As far as longs, I would be looking for longs in different levels. I'd be looking for a long, well, again, if we gap high, the gaps have not held. So again, gap and go goes out the window for me. They're going to have to prove they can hold the gap. Plus, we're literally battling the 4,000 level in ES. So I'm not sure if I really want a long up here. But you could uh, take a long against the base of the price probe. You could use K's high as you're out, right? If they fill that set of single prints, then you see what they do inside of the middle distribution. So that would be one long play against there. Again, next long could be against J's low. You want to see if they stay in the middle distribution. Then it depends on how much heat you want to take if they get inside of this day's range uh, uh, into, uh, inside these single prints. Maybe you use half back as you're out. Again, the worst case scenario for the bulls today would be if we fail and get below D's high from yesterday. But right now, with um, an outside day up, which was very positive, we're the only one that had one, NQ and Righty didn't. Um, the monthly is balanced, the daily is balanced, the weekly is down. But you can't change the weekly until, unless the daily starts changing. So basically, we're in a three-day balance here. I'm going to encompass these three days. If we start getting any legs up, I would probably call the daily up if we get above February 28th high. So again, in the trading room, live webinar, you're going to be finding out what we are doing. And then just on the chart, again, we will recap all three of these indices charts tonight after the close. So here's the daily. We had an outside day up, very positive. We tested below the 200 twice yesterday but rejected it and got above it. And we closed above the 50 by a dollar. Um, actually, by, oh no, not by a dollar, by about 70 cents. But we're trading even higher above it now. We'll see where it is um, comes the opening. The 20 is starting to curl down a bit. So that could be a nice target on the way up. Remember, look at this market. This market is pretty short in the short term. Good luck trading today. Thanks for the likes and subscribing. And we'll recap at 4 p.m.